El ámbar gris es un material apreciadísimo en la elaboración de perfumes. Este cachalote de más de 13 metros que apareció muerto en la playa de Nogales, en La Palma. Pues los científicos se encontraron con un hallazgo inesperado en su interior. Bueno, este tipo de, de, de piedras que se llama ámbar no es desconocida, de hecho hay playas donde a veces se, se, han, se han encontrado. A dead sperm whale washed up on the island of La Palma was found to contain 9 kilograms of ambergris, a valuable and rare substance valued at more than 500,000 euros. But what is ambergris? Ambergris is a substance known ever since ancient times, first mentioned by Arab travels writers in the 9th century. It has always been valuable, used in medicine, as a condiment, as an aphrodisiac, and in perfumery thanks to its unique properties. The mystery of its origin gave rise to almost 12 centuries of weird and wonderful theories described extensively in Diderot's Encyclopedia. And in various tales such as the travels of Marco Polo, Sinbad the Sailor and Moby Dick. This was until the 18th century when amber gris was found abundantly inside sperm whales caught in industrial whaling. Making it possible to determine that amber gris is a coprolite or the fossilized fecal waste found in the intestines of 1% of sperm whales. They usually release this stone into the ocean where it can remain floating indefinitely before reaching a beach. Or it could be lodged inside the whale and occasionally cause death. As happened to the sperm whale washed up on the Nogals beach on the island of La Palma. The journey is physical, geographical, chemical and transformative. Time favours it, becoming an odourless stone with unique fixing properties of high value. The development of IUSA scientists was not due to the Amber Grizz discovery. RUSA is a University Institute of Animal Health and Food Safety of the University of Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. For more than 20 years now, it has been conducting the necropsy, causes of death analysis and pathological studies of marine animals stranded on Canary Island beaches. As part of a scientific support for the actions of the Canary Island Stranded Cetacean Network. Its contributions to knowledge on cetaceans and their management in the natural environment have made it one of the world's benchmark research centers for the conservation of these animals. The IUSA promotes the expansion of knowledge, best scientific practices and best conservation practices in the Macronesian region in the eastern central Atlantic. Azores, Madeira, Cape Verde, Mauritania and Senegal. With the support of the European Union through the Interreg MAC Integrational Cooperation Programs. <laughs>